Hello everyone, and welcome to my waking nightmare. How's it hanging? There's a bit of a heat wave in the Pacific Northwest right now, turning my apartment into a kiln and frying the SSRIs out of my pale, vampiric granola boy body. I've been surviving by avoiding the sun and telling myself that YouTuber dies of heat stroke would make for a lame obituary. But we're all in a similar boat, right? This is just the new normal for us now. We're gonna keep having the hottest summers on record until the seven companies that are responsible for this decide to chip in on the planet. Big oil. So to cope, we all have to do things like dressing accordingly, going outside, and trying to cool down. Um, the issue is that if you are anything other than a man, doing those things will put you in the crosshairs of Abby Shapiro. If you're unfamiliar, Abby is a conservative online figure and is famously the sister of the internet's calming voice of reason, Ben Shapiro. Like Ben, Abby promotes traditional values, modesty, and other 1940s housewife politics on her channel Classically Abby. She's the human embodiment of when your mom looks you up and down and goes, is that really the outfit you're going with? I've been vocal about my disagreements with Abby. I've talked about how her preaching of premarital abstinence is a shame campaign, and I've broken down how her condescending delivery shows how biased and transparent her arguments really are. So why are we talking about her again? And what does she have to do with hot weather? Oh my god, this is... Okay. No one is allowed to comment on my outfit for this video. I am deluded by the heat. The reason I think Abby is such an interesting person to talk about is because I feel like there's this quiet underlying sadness to her. I think the area where you can see the conflict and the strife coming through is whenever she talks about modesty or how women can control their own appearance. Abby is a tall, charismatic, beauty standard achieving person, which leads to a lot of people objectifying her. The drooling conservative boys hail her as a trad wife holy grail, and the leftists rebuttaling her can't help but focus on her body as well. She was one of the main focuses on that rancid mommy milkers meme cycle a bit ago, and now that she's had a son, people are just going crazy with the MILF memes, and her looks have always been used as ammunition against her, which never goes without harm to anyone. Having that many people obsess over your appearance or presentation has got to do some serious mental damage over time, and whatever viewpoints she might have had on modesty or presentation probably were at least accentuated by all of this focus. So as a result, yeah, Abby brings the hammer down hard on people, especially girls, on dressing classically and covering up. Um, so when this new wave of hot girl mentality and expressing yourself started taking hold, she was not one of the top supporters. Hot girl summer is over. It's time for classic girl summer. Okay, she's throwing a lot at us right out the gate, so let's just start the video and see how she would introduce us to this new spicy topic. So a few summers ago, there was this concept of a hot girl summer. It was actually started by a song by someone who I've talked about on this channel before, Megan the Stallion. And the way that dictionary.com defines hot girl summer is feeling confident in who you are and having fun and looking good while doing it. <laughs> okay, quick question to everyone out there. Maybe you can explain it for me. What possible downsides are there to someone looking good and feeling good? I mean, those just sound like indisputably positive things. Like, I want you to be happy and like who you are, so what is wrong with liking how you look? Abby is right, the idea behind a hot girl summer comes from the artist Megan, the coolest person I've ever seen, and has become a term meaning a summer of indulgence and self-love. It's not a summer for hot girls, it's a summer for you to be a hot girl in. Okay, I passed out a little bit uh, from the heat stroke, but I remembered that I can't die before hitting 200k, so I'm back at it. Pretty much every aspect of the hot girl summer mindset clashes against Abby's belief system. You know, she wants women to be conducted and God-honoring, and it doesn't exactly line up with Megan's teaching of, you're a hot girl and you should be celebrated for that. God, she's so cool. Let's keep listening to Abby's video, but... While we do, try to pay attention towards the language she's using when describing who her audience is. As you might imagine, the idea of hot girl summer does not appeal to me, but what does appeal to me is the idea of classic girl summer. Embracing our classic femininity and embracing our classic lifestyle 
and bringing that into summertime and taking advantage of it in the best possible way. Abby keeps saying our femininity and talking about how we have a classic lifestyle, but she's referring to all women as this monolithic body as if they're all carbon copies of each other. And as anybody who has met more than one person will tell you, people are different from each other. If Abby does not want to show off her skin or use this exact method of self-expression, she shouldn't have to. This is not something that anybody is forcing onto anybody. Hot Girl Summer is not some national decree. It's just supposed to be something to pump up the people who want to express themselves that way. But Abby is referring to women's traditional femininity as if they are blueprints for every woman and they should be reverting to that instead of changing or trying out different things. Which is bad. If you could show me two people who are exactly the same, right down to the interests, belief styles, mannerisms, traits, everything, just exact clones of each other, then maybe I'll listen to Abby talk about all women as if they're the same. But until then, I'm pretty sure the winning argument is people be different. So if you're new here, I am a huge proponent of modesty on my channel. I think that it will get you what you want and it respects your body in a way that really nothing else does. So I think that being modest is a very important part of being classic. Not to come down on hyperbole, but I'm pretty sure like eating right, exercising a little, and being nice to yourself in the mirror are way better ways of respecting your body than modesty, which she is still not defining. If you're like Abby and you find empowerment in covering yourself and controlling what other people see of you, Good for you. You should be able to do that and not be pressured into anything else. But don't take it to a point of hypocrisy because people should be able to have that choice. And if they don't choose what you choose, that doesn't make them wrong. Call me a hippie, but I think people should be able to choose the type of lifestyle they live and not adhere to the hierarchy of values that Abby is preaching here. Oh my god, my shirt's, my shirt's getting sweaty. Can you see this? Can you see the sweat? Fuck, I'm gonna change. I wonder what it's like to live in an apartment that comes with air conditioning. I also think that being modest does not mean being frumpy. I think that you should absolutely look stylish and fabulous and feminine while also being modest. Kate Middleton is a really good example of this. She looks absolutely stunning always and she is a very modest woman. Okay, who is Kate Middleton again? Uh, it's a familiar name, but like it's not ringing a bell. This is probably going to be embarrassing. Oh, a duchess? Okay, well, yeah, of course her fashion is going to be highly tailored. She's a royal. And, I don't know, you could argue that the choice is taken away from her. Like, maybe she wants to go to the beach and wear a swimsuit, but she knows that tabloids exist, so she doesn't have that option. So, yes, does this duchess dress well while cover- Oh my god, my computer. Does Kate Middleton dress well while covering her body? Yes, yes, absolutely. But- you could also feasibly argue that the choice is non-existent for her. So, bad example, Ab. One of the ways that you can have a classic girl summer is to dress modestly and attractively and classically. So wearing beautiful dresses. Really, that's what it comes down to. Wearing beautiful dresses, beautiful skirts, light fabrics, bright colors, and embracing your personality, showing off who you are through your clothing within certain boundaries. Yeah, you know what? She does make that sound nice. Place an order for a green dress size large off of it. Oh, would those, like, within certain boundaries include gender for her? Yeah, I, I bet it does. All right. Cancel order. Is Abby saying that you can't have a hot girl summer if you wear a dress? Because I don't think Megan included that in any rules. I think self-love is more of a mental process and journey than just something you can hack around by wearing a dress. So I, lo I love the idea that you can express who you are through your clothing. And in doing that, you can actually make yourself look even more beautiful. So find clothes that appeal to you, but that also are within the boundaries of modesty. Abby, you were so close to getting it. Like, if it's not only boiling outside and you think someone can express themselves through their clothing however they want, well then what exactly is the problem with people wearing less? She's writing this weird line in this gray area where she's like, wear what you want and be confident, but booty shorts will send you to hell. But 
but finding a dress that has a flower print, if that's something you're into, or wearing bright colors, if that's what you enjoy. Finding something that reflects your personality through your clothes. You might be somebody who prefers to not wear prints. I genuinely cannot believe how close she is to getting it. Yes, Abby, people should wear things that they like if that's what they enjoy. Wow, personal choice really plays a big role in this. It would be crazy if we could take that concept a little bit further than just floral prints, huh? I just... <sighs> if you were ever trying to like make a list of my weaknesses to like try and bring me down someday, put heat at the top of your list. The second way to have a classic girl summer is to go to restaurants with beautiful outdoor seating and just enjoy the weather. What in God's green hell does outdoor seating have to do with modesty? This woman is just naming like dining arrangements now. Sitting outside with those string lights, just enjoying a warm evening. That is such a lovely summer activity and one that I think is very classic. Oop. We found the black hole that Abby's channel can never escape from, and that is that modesty is being defined by her and her own biases and personal belief system, but she's preaching it as a gospel truth that you should follow. She is dictating what is right and wrong right now, and it's just based on her opinions. What is it about sitting under string lights that says classic? Like, classic what? Are you saying string lights don't work with a hot girl summer? Like... You gotta make this make sense, Abby, if you're gonna be talking about it. If you take your husband out, your friends out, sitting outside and just enjoying the weather and enjoying a pretty patio is just the best, most classic thing to do in summertime. First of all, Abby, I don't have a husband. Or a patio. Secondly, this video is just kind of like you describing your weekend plans and the title says Hot Girl Summer is over and Classic Girl Summer is starting, but you haven't defined either of those and we're halfway through the video. Like, what, what arguments are you making here? You know what, I'm not going to subject you to the rest of the video. I scrubbed through it to see if there was anything else, but she just goes on to recommend reading one book a month and then attending outdoor concerts. And don't get it twisted, she means like classical music concerts, like Philharmonics, not a Megan concert or anything like it. This is not the first time Abby has talked about Hot Girl Summer or the idea of dressing modestly, and it will not be the last either. She's made fighting that fight kind of like her entire personality, but I don't think it's going to be ending for her anytime soon. In fact, I feel like this fight that she's trying to have doesn't have an ending. I don't see any way that she'll like win in her eyes or think that this fight is ever going to be over because it won't. First of all, the idea of being classic or respecting tradition and getting in touch with your past has its merits, but implying that it should be an unchanging and universal adoption for women just flat out rejects the concept of like progress, like times change. That's what time does. I think the reason that self-empowerment through outward confidence and expression is so popular right now is because it's popular. Large amounts of people are connecting with it, and it clearly has an audience that feels good embracing it. Another reason Abby can't stop the concept of a hot girl summer is because her arguments are so fused to her personal experience in viewing this. Abby obviously loves modesty, which to her can be violated just by wearing revealing clothing, but summers are getting unbearable. We're seeing street signs melting and infrastructure literally boiling itself down. People are going to be covering up less outside. While Abby might see a person walking by in a tube top and think that it's the hot girl summer rhetoric taking advantage of the nation's youth, it literally just might be someone trying to stay cool. Because Abby's views on modesty are so visual, if she's looking through things in her own lens, she might be missing a simple fact that it's just hot out and people want to wear less. No self-empowerment required. If conservatives want people to start covering themselves up more, maybe they should start helping us try to cool down the planet and manage heat levels. Has anyone framed it that way for them? Who do I pen a letter to? And come on, it's no coincidence that this is so targeted towards women. Modesty in men has much different boundaries than it does with others, and Abby's crusade is specifically geared towards women, not men, not just anyone who wants to wear short shorts, specifically women. 
I don't blame Abby for getting a little tied up in her own notions and perceptions of what modesty should look like, because again, she has experienced a lot of ruthless attacking towards her body for essentially the entire time she's been online. I don't know. I Even with the context of her entire online career being subtly shaming women into conformity, she's... She's still the victim of widespread and targeted harassment based on her appearance and presentation, and I don't wish that on anyone, including Abby Shapiro. If someone kept using your body or your appearance to value and define you, then of course you're going to end up with some weird beliefs and moderation on how you present yourself. Like, I don't know. It's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy because she clearly went into this preaching modesty and then the way people responded probably just dug her in deeper. That's why I think she has this weird focus on controlling yourself. It's like she's subtly trying to like help women avoid what she went through, but like not really. It's no surprise to me that she has this weird focus on how to control presenting yourself or managing what you give out to people considering this is what her experience has been. But that is a personal journey that she needs to have with a therapist. And converting it into a weird message to push onto people under the lifestyle genre and the be more classic attitude that her channel has, I don't think is a good fit. It's pretty weird. People should be given the opportunity to choose their own venues of self-discovery and expression, and that includes Abby as well. But that does not absolve her of sticking to this weird war against a message of self-confidence that doesn't align with hers, and this video overall does not carry weight. Hot Girl Summer is a cultural thing, but what is not is the fact that the planet is heating and every summer is just going to keep getting hotter, and if Abby is going to interpret that as people wearing less clothing in order to not be modest, she's going to be fighting this for as long as the summers are hot which could be a while. My guess is that we're going to see Herb just repeat this message every summer that it keeps getting hotter. Up until the point where, like, it's just hot year-round and she condones short clothing all the time, uh, which is going to get annoying. Uh, can we get on this whole, like, climate apocalypse thing, please? I don't want to hear more of Abby Shapiro. <laughs>